This is Jessica Williamson and you're watching Zapro. Wired magazine recently published a seven-page scathing article about the shortcomings of the Zap Corporation. Basically, Zap reported itself to be a leader in the environmental auto field. Back in 2003, Zap started promising the electric world car, and well, that never showed up. So then, Zap was going to import smart cars from Europe and convert them to US standards. But the smart corporation told them to go piss up a tree, and that really didn't happen either. Next, they promised the Brazilian flex fuel, Obvio, which obviously never showed up. Finally, they started selling the electric three-wheeled zebra, but it just didn't perform anywhere near the specs that they promised. And we can even tell you firsthand, our friend has one. You know how we roll. And then they promised the electric Zap X by Lotus, but Lotus was not really into it. So that never happened either. Zap's in a pile of trouble, particularly when you throw in some questionably legal stock transactions, shady business practices, and a handful of lawsuits. And we might just be looking at the end of the Zap Corporation. There's no fury like a nerd scorned. Plastic bags, they suck, so we're giving away free Chico bags. Log on to Firepop's community site, register as a new member, and send us an email letting us know that you want a new Chico bag. We only have so many of them, so you better act fast. Thanks to our friends at Grist for letting us know that pesticides, especially carbofurin, are not for the birds. Turns out, it kills them. Man, it really stones them. Give me back my insecticide. <laughs> I've got the hottest new item here since DDT. The EPA, in its first attempt to ban a pesticide since DDT in 1972, thinks this is enough of a reason to ban it. The pesticide, carbofurin, which is sprayed on everything from corn and potatoes to soybeans and sunflowers, is one of the most dangerous pesticides still being used. But congressmen, mostly in agricultural states, are opposed to the ban. A manager at the FMC Corp assures us that when used according to its label, it can be used without adverse effects. Since it's possible it can be used without adverse effects, the FMC will keep selling its poison to other agricultural countries like Brazil and Mexico. It sure is a good thing we don't get any veggies from those places. Thanks for watching and be sure to check us out at zapfruit.com. Yo YouTube user, why don't you get your subscribe on? The buttons, right? Over here, or maybe here.